Hi dear students, first of all, let's have a smile to start the lesson. Okay, I am sure that you all did this job. And now you're ready to start the new lesson. But remember, I have an advice for you that math expands mind. Okay, if you do a lot of problems, on that time you will have an expand mind and you will daily change your mind in a positive manner okay i am sure that you remember what did you study in previous lesson you studied properties addition and subtraction of what the square root and we will study now multiplication and division of a square root and at the end rationalizing fractions okay rationalizing fractions okay first of all let's get a start to know what uh, how to uh, multiply a square root okay first of all multiplication of a square root we use the property of this as i told you in the property of a square root we can follow this property in order to solve any type of what multiplication square root okay remember that a and b are both greater than or equal to zero okay examples there are some examples to understand better example one if we have like this a square root of five multiply a square root of six i can write a square root of five multiple six is equal to square root of 30 but in here listen and look at the whiteboard that we have a square root of 3 multiple addition and subtraction you see addition and subtraction it is very simple at first you multiply a square root of 3 with a square root of 7 I write directly 3 multiple 7 is 21 if it is positive, so in here we will have positive. If it is negative, in here we will have negative. Finish. Now, the second step. I have to multiply this with this. Okay? A square root of 3, a square root of 3 multiplied a square root of 5. 3 multiplied 5 is 15. This is the answer. And then, if we have like this, 2 a square root under the addition and subtraction. How do we multiply? Okay. At first, same example two. I multiply this with these two. Okay. A square root of two multiplied square root of two is a square root of four. Two multiplied two is four. Okay, next. Again, a square root of. So remember, what is this? Positive. Positive multiply negative is negative. A square root of 2 multiple a square root of 3 is a square root of 6. Then, I multiply this. Second step. What is this? A square root of 3 multiply a square root of 2. It is positive because it is positive. A square root of 6. A square root of 3 multiple a square root of 3. But remember that this is minus and this is plus plus multiply minus is minus or negative so a square root of 3 multiple a square root of 3 is a square root of 9 we simplify this how much is this 2 and this will be cancelled with this you know that we have 1 square root of 6 and we in here we have minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 and what is this 2 minus 3 so who can tell me this it is equal to minus remember that in here we have two different degree of a square root this is this is out of our lesson but we have to understand this is a square root of, uh, this is cube root and this is a square root at first I want to write a whole square okay then what is the what is this three what is this two so who can tell me what is LCM of two and three LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. It means I can have a root with degree 6. Now, remember this. 
What is in here? Five. I write five in the root. But six divided by three, six divided by three is two. I can write as the power of five. Multiply. What is this number? Two. Six divided by two is three. Very simple. Okay? And this is the answer. You can simplify more too. Let's start to understand what is division or how we can solve division square root. We use the property. But remember again that b should not be zero. b should be greater than zero. Okay, there are some examples. At first this example. I can write separate. I can write separate. The square root of 16 divided by the square root of 9. How much is the square root of 16? 4. How much is the square root of 9? 3. Excellent. Let's do the next. Okay? If they are separate, we can write under 1 square root. It means 2 divided by 5. Finish. Okay? And in here, okay, we have a lot, but we can write separate. 144 is under the square root, multiply, a square root divided by 25 square root. It means all of them under the square root. And how we can solve? A square root of 144, you know how to find. It is 12. I am your teacher. I know that. And I'm sure that you know that too. Okay? What is this? 2 divided by the degree 2. The answer is A. And what is the square root of 25? 5. This will be the answer. This will be the answer. Okay. If we have like this again, the square root, the degrees are different. We have to do as multiplication. Okay? We have to take LCM of 3 and 2. What is LCM of 3 and 2? 6. Okay. I write the fraction. What? 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. It means 5 to the power of 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. I write as the power of 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. It means I write as the power of 3. It was all about the multiplication and division of score root. Okay, dear students, now we are going to study rationalizing fractions. What does it mean? Changing the denominator or numerator. You know denominator. Denominator, it means up of fraction bar. Denominator, it means down of fraction bar. Of a fraction from an irrational number. You know that a square root of 2 is an irrational number. A square root of 3 is an irrational number. From an irrational number to rational number. Okay? There are two examples. Example 1. 1 over a square root of 2. How we can change it to rational number? I write it first. And then I multiply this. I multiply this fraction. What is this? A square root of 2. It's very simple. But with a square root of 2. Now I multiply. 1 multiply a square root of 2 is how much? Square root of 2. A square root of 2 multiplied a square root of 2 is how much? A square root of 4. Okay, a square root of 2 over, you know this. 2. Now we see that this is a rational number. This is a rational number. Same example. If numerator, if numerator is a, an irrational number, how we can solve? Again, write the fraction, rewrite again. So, multiply both with a square root of 3. Very simple. A square root of 3 multiplied a square root of 3 is how much? A square root of 9. 2 multiplied a square root of 3. Okay. Now, what is a square root of 9? 3. And 2 multiplied 3. In here, you see that this irrational number changed to rational number. If there is a type of a plus b or a minus b in the denominator or numerator, we can use conjugate definition. What does conjugate mean? Very simple. a plus b is conjugate of a minus b. Just 
If it is positive, change to negative. Okay? In order to understand it, at first, you have to know this. Multiply it at home, that is it right or wrong? I multiply it, because you studied multiplication. A minus B multiple A plus B is equal to A square minus B square. Check it at home, okay? Now, there is an example. One over this, what is this? Positive. I write again, and then, what should I do? With conjugate. But denominator and numerator with conjugate. Now, one multiple this is, how much? Again that. But in here, remember, this is A plus B, this is A minus B. A plus B, A minus B. A minus B, A plus B. A square, what is A? The square root of 2. Minus B square. What is this? The square root of 3. Okay, this is the answer. What is this? 2 will be cancelled with a square root. This will be 2. Minus. 2 will be cancelled with a square root. Minus 3. And if you subtract, you will get a rational number. Re once more, I tell you that if there is a type of this, A plus B or A minus B in here, if it is an up or down, no problem. Just try to multiply with conjugate. If it is positive, multiply with negative. And then do the multiplication, okay? I know that you understand them now. And dear students, now I have a surprise for you. Do you know what is that? Assignment, okay? Do it and enjoy. And don't forget, follow up Afghan Turk Maarif YouTube channel. If you have any question, let me know. Best of luck.